Hi, welcome to my new tutorial. My name is Andre Kruka from Dagobi. Today I would like to show you how to create your own brushes for this technical circles. What we need to do is create with the rectangle tool some objects and create from all these objects one brush. And the finished brush look like this. These two brushes are made from this one shape. Ok, I start with the rectangle tool, create a new box, fill is black and no stroke. Now duplicate this rectangle, press the right ALT key and Shift and make it smaller and duplicate, make a copy. You can do this with the right ALT key and Shift or you go to this layer and make a copy and move it down. And make this little Okay, let's so and duplicate to the right. Okay, make a copy. Okay, now we create, uh, we duplicate this box and make the fill white. Move it here. Now move it to the right and press Ctrl D. Scale this, delete this box and this. So now select this all object and go to the Pathfinder and click on minus front. Now we have one object. And next, um, make a copy and move it here and make it smaller. Here, move it to the right and press Ctrl D. Make some copies and need this four objects. Move it to the right. Scale it a little bit and copy again to the right. And delete this two objects. Now go and select some of these boxes and make the stroke black and no fill. And the stroke makes it too, too 
two points. Okay. Now copy this box and deform it so. And make a copy. Okay, now select this object, go to the Pathfinder and click on Unit. Now, make a copy from this box. Now take this box and make it smaller, like this, and make a copy and press Ctrl D. Too much, delete this. Now delete this object and this and okay and the last make a copy from one of these objects. and make a copy to the right and now press Ctrl D so the basic shape is finished now we create a brush from this all these objects. Okay, to create a brush from these objects, need to select all these objects. Now you can drag all these objects into the brushes panel, or you go to the panel and click on new brush. But before we do that, we need to scale it a little bit smaller. So now go to New Brush and click on Art Brush. Click OK and really what we need to do is uh, change the colorization method to Tint. Click OK. Now you see near the New Brush. So deselect this and create a new layer. Now create with the ellipse tool new circle click the shift key and you get a perfect circle so fill is no fill and for the stroke color choose this blue and click on your new brush so we have this technical circle. Now duplicate this circle by press the Alt key and now you can do with the same brush another technical circle. What you need to do is duplicate this brush and double click on the brush. You can change 
the options, options flip across. Click OK. Apply to strokes. Now you can see this two different circles with the same brush. So now I start to create a technical artwork with these two brushes. The next thing what we need to do is create a background. Create a new box with a rectangle tool. So and move it down and add a gradient. The gradient makes to blue, dark to uh, light blue. Okay, change the gradient with the gradient tool. Sorry. Okay. Now I create a clipping mask. And that goes like this. I'll go to view and uh, make sure that the smart guys is enabled and go to this corner and so now we have a second rectangle to create the clipping mask you need to move this rectangle up on the first place from the parent uh, group Deselect all and choose the parent layer and click on this button Make Release Clipping Mask. So, okay, now I go to edit this technical uh, circles. First, I change the color from this circle go to this blue and this circle make it a little bit bigger okay so you can change the stroke white make it to 1.5 okay that's good and this make it smaller and change it to this size ok that's good now we select both circles and go to objects and click on expand appearance now I do that. I um, add a gradient to this circle. I take the same gradient from the background and press Ctrl H to hide these lines. And now you can change the gradient if you like 
So I change it to radial and make a radial gradient like this. So for the stroke color I choose a blue and now I go to change the color from some uh, objects. Please choose this group selection tool and press Ctrl H. Now you can select some of these objects and so and this maybe this this and this now go to the color and stroke no color and the fill is white make the same with this object white and no stroke and now you can change this this or this no stroke and this make no stroke and fill this blue now go to the second circle Make it white and this, this, white. So we need to create a new circle with a lips tool. Select those objects and click on line center and center. For this new circle, add the same gradient and change the gradient to radial. And create this radiant so. Okay, now duplicate this circle, drag it down and make a copy. And scale, scale this circle big. So like this and move it down. Now go to the transparency and make it 25. Move 
15. Yes, 15 is better. Now create with the pen tool a new line. New line. Click here and hold, please hold the shift key. So this new line is no fill and make it blue stroke. The stroke make it to two points and move this layer down. Duplicate this layer, drag it down layer and move this layer, this uh, line up. So now go to this blend tool and click on this line and on this line. Now go to the objects and choose the blend options and choose by spacing specified steps. Make it to 16 steps. Yes, that's okay. Now go and make the, this line, change it to dark blue. darker okay now create a new new shape with the pen tool so we'll start here and please hold the shift key again So in this uh, layer, move it down and add a new color, uh, a gradient, make it to linear, the stroke col color change it to white so if you like you can scale this shape I think stones is better little bit up. Okay. Next create a, with a type tool a box I think. So now I choose uh, this this time and make it to 18 points and write 
Select all, copy and paste, copy, paste, 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 paste. So change the color to dark blue or light blue yeah, that's that's good make the type a little bit bigger and now go to the photograph and click on this button now move this layer down Okay. And the last one, if you like, you can add uh, some highlights, create a new circle with the ellipse tool. Fill is a gradient, white and black. Uh, this black. Move this panel so. And change the type to radial. Now go to the transparency and click on screen. Now you can copy this layer and move it down and um, to the left, make it smaller. So here and make a copy. So Copy I change the color from the background, make it a little bit darker. Okay. So it's finished. Thanks for watching. If you liked this tutorial, please press thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you want to see more of my tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Hope to see you soon.